Okay, so I am gonna make lunch and put it in the sun oven. And I'm gonna make jalapeno pop or chicken jalapeno poppers casserole. And then I'm gonna make gluten-free carrot cake. But that will be in a separate video because it'll take too long. So um, on the jalapeno um, popper chicken, first what I'm gonna do is I, I you have eight ounce of cream cheese and I had it out for her in room temperature for quite a while. So I'm just going to kind of stir it up. And then it calls for two tablespoons of milk to put in there. And I have some um, runny, uh, runny yogurt left that I had made for something. That probably was not two tablespoons, but. And then it calls for garlic powder. Well, I don't have any garlic powder, so I am gonna put minced garlic in there. Next best thing. So, scrape that in there. And on the powdered garlic, it didn't say how much on the recipe, so I'm gonna do, I really like garlic. So I'm doing three bulbs. I know that might be an overkill, plus those first two bulbs were really, really big, but gotta have garlic. I love garlic. I could eat garlic every day. My husband says no because then it starts coming out in my pores. But anyway, so scrape all that garlic in there. All right, back to mixing it all up. So those flavors can be infusing with each other for just a few minutes while I lay the chicken in the pan. And so you have about two pounds um, of chicken breast Two pounds of chicken breasts, and so I have that right here. I didn't weigh it, so I actually don't even know how many pounds of chicken breast this is. Now, here's the thing. I debated whether to leave it whole, because the recipe called for leaving the breasts whole, and I could but I thought, why not do it in the chunks? And it'd be more like casserole versus. So I'm actually using my scissors to cut up the chicken. And you do put it in there raw. Oh, there goes the bacon. I was, um, this recipe does call for bacon. And so I was cooking it in the air fryer to get it all ready. So got some more chicken. These are already kind of in chunks. Don't need to cut them. And this pan actually, oh, I didn't even think about it. I've got my carrots right there for my, I didn't drip any on it, but, um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, I think I was saying that, I think this pan is probably too big for this recipe, but I really do like using these pans that came with the sun oven. You can use any pans you want. I just happen to like using these pans. I should have had this already cut up. I did not. Sorry, I am canning as well. So I, my canner's telling me it's done. It's an electric pressure canner. 
and I'm gonna wash my hands just a minute. So I canned some, even though you can water bath apple juice or apple cider, I put it in the canner and I'm canning some chili sauce and some, actually some Rotel sauce. Okay, so now I have the chicken in there. Then you take your cream cheese mixture and you're supposed to spread it on top. So because I can't really spread it on top. It'll move around. Chicken is kind of sli you know, wet and slimy. I'm just going to put dollops on all around it. And then it'll melt spread out hopefully this is the first time I've ever done this so um, so this we'll see how it turns out I don't know it sounded really good to me so I wanted to give it a try so I'm just gonna kind of spread it and like I said this chicken is so like wet so it's not spreading real good. I don't, I guess if you maybe um, dried your chicken breasts before you put them in here, that would work. It's kind of spreading now, now that I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay, so it kind of spread. So then you do that. And then I chopped up some jalapenos. Um, the recipe calls for two to three jalapenos. So I chopped them up and you just sprinkle them over the top. I may have, I did three big ones, three big jalapenos. And I did that ahead of time so it wouldn't take up um, time on the videoing. Okay, I guess it depends on how much you like. So, that's what it looks like there. All right, so I've got the jalapenos on it. Then, then you take the bacon. Like I said, I've been cooking it in the sun oven, or I mean in the air fryer, and you crumble it up. And it actually calls for a half a cup. I don't know, I what I did is just cut the bacon package in half. And cooked all that half of um, a package of bacon. So there. Crumble that on top. All right. The last I knew, the sun oven was at 300 degrees. So I'm not for sure what it is now that I've been back inside. All right, then you take a cup of shredded cheese. I did shred mine ahead of time. If you wanna buy prepackaged shredded cheese, you can do that as well. All right, so I've got the cheese all over the top of it. That's what it looks like. All right, and then we're gonna go set it out in the sun oven. I'm not gonna cover it because I'm gonna go back inside and I am going to make the carrot cake, which I'll do in another video. I'll do it as a separate video, but oh. It looks so delicious. All right, so I have the sun oven out here and it is saying, I don't know if you can see, it's saying like 325. Ah, that's good. Yesterday it was, even though it was sunny, it was only getting to 250. I'm not for sure why. I had it angled and everything. All right, so there's the sun oven. I open the door. I'm gonna throw this in that way. 
the chicken can go ahead and be cooking. I'm gonna latch it. We don't let any more the temperature out. Okay, and then I'm gonna see if it's lined up. Oh, it's not lined up, so I am gonna have to, whoa, as I dropped you, undo these steaks, and I'm gonna move it over. So it needs to be moved all the way to the right here, but in the vertical, needs to come down a little bit. So this is where you adjust the vertical. So I'm gonna hit that button, see if I can do this one-handed. Go down one notch. I'm gonna check it and see. Ah, it's perfect. Anyway, so put the stakes back in, in case the wind picks back up. Get that started and then I'm gonna go in and start the carrot cake.